Hello everyone, welcome back to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Today's video will be on a classic Sudoku created by Sulphur. This Sudoku has been taken from the Sudoku testing submissions page and I've solved this classic already. I would say it's one of a kind. We have covered many classic Sudokus by this author on the channel by Sulphur and not once have I seen ideas repeating across his classic Sudokus and this Sudoku also has a really unique step, one which I have not seen before. A perfect example of how far a single elimination can take you in the Sudoku. Trust me, you will just be mind blown by this Sudoku. The link to solve this is in the description. Please do give it a try, come back and watch the video. And please subscribe to the channel. If you are enjoying the videos that we are putting out, do subscribe to the channel and also hit that like button. Right, let's start this Sudoku by Sulphur now. Each row, each column and 3 by 3 box in the grid has digits 1 to 9 without any repetitions. Standard classic rules. So with that we'll jump right into the Sudoku. So if you look at this box, 1 and 9 are the missing digits. Let's focus on rows and columns which are almost filled. So column 1, these would be 1, 6 and 7 and 7 cannot go in this cell. Let's look at row 1, 1, 3 and 5. And this cannot be a 5, this cannot be a 3. Column 9, 1, 8 and 9. This cannot be a 9. Row 7, 1, 7 and 9. This cannot be a 7. Row 9, 1, 2 and 9. And this cannot be a 9 because of the 9 in this cell. And box 1 has 3 digits left, 1, 5 and 7. Any more? Column 7. 5, 6, 9 and 3, 7, 8. So the remaining digits are 1, 2 and 4. 4 cannot go in this cell. So 4 goes in this cell. So you can see that despite the amount of given clues in the grid, we have not placed even a single digit. So this is a perfect example of how Sudokus can be made harder even with a lot of given clues, even with lots of rows and columns uh, which have so many given clues. So it is at this point that you need to use this really nice trick. So if you want to pause the video here and maybe continue from this point, you can do so because this is the point that I think one needs to use the trick. Um, I would really be curious to know if you guys found some other way to break into the Sudoku. Uh, but I suspect that there is no other break in because the title one with everything also has to do something with this. In fact, to be very frank, uh, I don't think I would have found the trick uh, in the time that I did without the clue from the title. So of course at the start, I saw that there are so many given, uh, there are so many cells with one as a candidate. In fact, every cell that I marked has one as a candidate. So I knew that there was something going on with the ones. Uh, but the title also uh, made me stronger, right? Made me uh, believe that there is seriously something one going, uh, something going with the ones. So at this point, the start is by asking the question whether this cell can take the digit one. That is the question you need to ask. Often we see a lot of sudokus, right, wherein we uh, use a really tough deduction and, and that at the very max gives you a single candidate elimination without much progress. So we tend to get a little disappointed when that's the case, we find something big, but all it gives is a really, uh, is really a single candidate elimination. However, this trick, if you use this, it literally takes you until the very end of the Sudoku. You can complete the Sudoku with this trick. So that's why this trick is really nice to see and very, very uh, satisfying. 
So I'm going to reveal the trick now. Can this cell be a one? So let us see what happens if the uh, row eight column eight takes a one. Let's mark it green, right? Now uh, there are two ways to proceed here. I can uh, start by marking the position of ones in boxes seven and eight, or I can go by marking the position of boxes in six, one in boxes six and three. Both ways you will end up uh, having a contradiction. So let us go this way. So one has to be in one of these cells if one is in row eight column eight. And similarly, one will be in one of these two cells. One will be in one of these three cells. Now in column one, one cannot be here. One goes here. Remember we assumed or we are rather asking the question what happens if this is a one. So one goes here. And because of this one, one would be in one of these two cells, one cannot be here. And now um, look at box six, one would be in one of these two cells, right? And now if you look at row four, one is contained here. So one has to be in one of these two cells. And now if you look closely, box two, there is no place to place a one because for boxes five and eight one is in contained here so which means one would be forced here right but where does the one go in row one now one cannot be here and one cannot be here right if you look the other way one is already here in these cells so which means one has to be in these two cells but then in column four there is no space for the ones so this is the tremendous deduction that if you use you'll be surprised that it gives a lot of digits. What a stunning direction guys. Just by looking at the ones until the very end, it's simply stunning. I won't say it is uh, like a guess or something because it's very channeled just with the ones you're seeing and you end up having a contradiction. A beautiful, beautiful step to incorporate in a Sudoku. Now let us see. So we have found that one cannot be here, right? Let us uh, remove all these colors. And like I said, just look how far this takes you in the Sudoku. This is a nine now. So this is one and that one gives you a two here, which gives you a nine here, which gives you a one here, which gives seven here. Awesome, right? So this is nine and these would be a one, six and seven, no six, two, four and eight. And you have two, eight in column four. So this is four. So this would be a two. Uh, sorry, 2, 8. Excellent. And this one here gives me 8, which gives you a 9 here. And um, 9 in rows 4 and 6, so 9 goes here. Nice and easy. And 8 in rows 1 and 3, so 8 goes here. Again, just easing into the Sudoku. This one here gives me a 5. So this is 1, 3 now. Excellent. Okay, eight goes in one of these two cells and seven goes in one of these two cells. Okay, three cannot be here. So three is in one of these two cells. Ah, nice. Six cannot be here and six cannot be here. So this will take a six. Now we have a six, eight pair. Okay. And now we can make use of this four here. Four cannot go in this cell. So four has to be here. Okay, nine can be placed in row two now. Nine goes here. And that puts nine here. Remember, it all started by deducing this digit, guys. Awesome, right? Two, eight, nine, four, five, six. So seven goes here. So this would be one and three because of the three here. So this is a one, this is a three. Seven cannot be here. One, five, eight, nine, three, seven. So six goes here and this is two, four. And this six gives us six here. Eight here, eight here, two here, two here, four here, four here, right? The Sudoku is imploding now, just crushing. So one cannot be here.
two, four, five, eight, six, and nine, one, three, and seven. So this is one and seven. So one, seven, one, seven. This is a five, which means this is one. This is seven. That one gives a three here, a one here, a three here. So one, two, and five for remaining this box. So this is five. This is a one and two. Okay, so this is six because of one and seven here. Six. This is one seven. One cannot go here. Six seven. Six cannot go here. So this is a one, which means this is one. This is seven. This is six. And that one gives a seven here, which gives a seven here. Eight here. So you have a two and four here. So this is a one, which means this is a two. This is a one. So this would be a two four. Excellent. So this is a three. Okay, two and five. So this is two five. This is four eight. Right. So eight is in is not here. So this is eight. This is four four two two and five. What a Sudoku, guys! Just really, what a Sudoku! Just by <laughs> getting the start. Have you ever seen a Sudoku where the starting cell is? incredibly difficult to find but once you place the starting digit you can just coast to the end of the sudoku that's what happened in the sudoku and uh, really hats off to sulfur for creating this sudoku i think this is the starting trick to uh, get this sudoku done i don't think there is any other way to um, you know go along into the sudoku so hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, if you really like the work we are doing please do support us on patreon we hope to see you soon with another video bye bye